Hey guys, it is Friday uh, just afternoon and uh, finally got out here to work on this Buick. Um, I was letting the camera charge up real quick. Uh, so far I'll tell you what's going on. I got some rubbing compound and a buffer out. You remember from last night's video, uh, these, sorry for the shaky cam, these gouges here and there's a couple good ones there and there. Um, had a paint mark uh, from a parking uh, bollard or something that went all the way down here and all the way up into this area and this fender was pushed in. Now what I've done, there's two bolts, one about here and one here. That kind right there, those are 10 millimeter head bolts. And then those little screws over there hold the inner wheelhouse in. And I've pulled the inner wheelhouse loose. Back to zoom out here a little bit. And uh, I got my hands up behind this and started tugging on it and got it out to where it meets the headlight nice, just like the other side. Now, I think I got a little something funky going on right here. Um, looks like this dips in right here. I'm going to try and work on that with my fingers and walk it out a little bit more. But I think we might call that fender happy. I'm not sure yet. I do have some paint missing from this corner down here, which could be a quick uh, feather out with some 320 on my finger and spot a little primer on that corner and then uh, blend a little paint out this way just a tiny little bit and uh, then we'll clear the fender. Um, these gouges aren't too too bad. I can work with those. We're gonna feather those out with some 320. Um, you could argue that I could brush touch them but the other side of the bumpers uh, needing some attention too. <sighs> yeah buddy. Some of that's gonna come off but there's gonna be a lot of crap left behind so we'll get to that. Uh, I'm trying to avoid painting that fender if I have to. I might be able to brush touch that corner, but I just don't like, I don't know if the camera will pick it up in any such angle, but I put a rag under my hand, close my eyes and run my fingers over it, and I can't, I can feel a little on the outer edge here, but not so much in here. Uh, compared to the other one, it's just a tad funky, but I think I'm just going to work it out and call it happy. Um, it's just not bad enough to fuss with. Uh, the paint's not broken, except for that one corner. Uh, this one, it, it almost looks like on the other side, right in here, it's pushed in a little bit still. I just can't figure it out because the light's glaring right on it. But I think a little uh, finger magic behind there and a little push here and a tap there is going to get that where it needs to be. And then we got to do the back bumper. And uh, I took a mirror, driver mirror with me, to uh, get a color match on that. And of course, we didn't have the color in the variant deck. And the color I have is a, a smidge off from where I'd like it to be. I'm going to spray a uh, test panel with it real quick so that if it's not right, I can get the right one. And then we've got to deal with this. That's a pretty good gore right there. We'll uh, dig that out with a little uh, 80 grit on the DA and we'll fill that. Um, this stuff should all come right off. Uh, that's just from the corner molding on the siding of their house so that should come off. Uh, this stuff most of it will come off but we're going to have to feather some paint back and do some paint work in the center of this bumper in that corner. This corner's all good. I think that's just some grass or something. Yeah. So we'll do that and I got a big wad of tree crap on it right here that I'm going to clean off for them too. But uh, I think we're okay. So I'm going to get to getting to it here and uh, I'm going to put you guys on the stand for, uh, since I can figure out what the hell I just did with the stand, I just had it in my hand. Um, I'm going to put you on the stand over about where I'm standing here and set you up on that corner and kind of show you the process of what I'm doing. Uh, I will bring you back in a second when I figure out what I did with the stand. All right, you're on the stand. We're gonna work on this little area down here and pick up my fasteners off the floor before I stick one of them through my boots. 
I'm not sure how I want to tackle this. Part of my problem is my hook for my slide hammer is just not deep enough for what I want it to do. Really, I think this is going to be a matter of just pushing and fidgeting because I really don't know. some more bolts out of the wheelhouse, but it's just a tad bit wrinkly from what I can see. And I tried looking from a couple different angles. If you look down and it doesn't look so hot. It's not mangled, it's just, it's not right. Um, these bumpers have been painted before he got the car, because I haven't worked on this one yet. This is a new to me one. So, you may leave that for, uh, for a little while. I am gonna spray a test panel and see how close that paint is. It looks a little dark. So I don't wanna have to go too far into this fender. Uh, if I have to, I'll paint the whole corner of it. The, match into this part of the fender and fade it out this way but uh, if I don't have to I won't so uh, next thing we're probably going to need to do here is uh, I'll show you how I'm getting the paint that was like on this side um, off of it <clears throat> you see we got our, our nice spot there uh, some rubbing compound My little pneumatic buffer. We'll see. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. We'll see how much of that garbage comes off of there. I already know I got to sand on that and uh, prime that to get most of that gone. So we're just going to try this first and see how much comes off. <laughs> That 
that's actually some of that's primer coming through. see that obviously we're not going to let that fly you know we got a long way to go there with some body work sand and feather that out and get some paint on her but uh, and prime it up but we'll go do this uh, tail light here real quick and this corner I think you guys can see that making the repair way bigger than I need to. here and get rid of that mess as much as I can. A lot of this is actually plastic because this is uh, where it rubbed the corner of the uh, siding on the house. segment. I 
like I said, I just want to see what I'm working with, see what's coming out and how big this repair's got to be in order for me to get it cleaned up and done right. <laughs> removing this thing and scuffing these bumpers uh, sanding those problems out we're gonna get rid of that dude right there I don't think we're gonna be clear cutting over any stickers got the old uh, Milwaukee heat gun here set up here and uh, take a little uh, wax and grease remover to these bumpers. Actually we're going to try a different way here. If I can figure out why my tripod's all cattywampus here.
got my pump sprayer with my wax and grease remover in it. Shouldn't really be any foo foo on it, but there's definitely plenty of road grime and shit on it. And of course, I'll give it a final wipe after this whole thing's been scuffied up and all that after the body work's done on it. But for now, we just want to get some of the, some of the stuff off of it in the areas that need body worked. Certainly plenty of grime on it. Now, I just hosed this car off yesterday. I didn't wash it. Um, I won't wash it till after I'm all done. So there's nothing too crazy here. I'll take a little of this uh, wax and grease remover here. Let's see if I can get that tree sap garbage off. That's going to have to sit a little bit. That. So we'll saturate that rag and set over it. Then we'll go clean the front bumper up and then we'll move right along on to the next step. I know this seems like it's going kind of fast. It's because I'm sort of in a hurry here to get done today. I lost half my day getting supplies, which sucks. Uh, I was raring and ready to go this morning, but just didn't seem to seem to get to where I needed to be in the, uh, the time frame I wanted to be there. And again, this is not a final wipe, really. This is just kind of a Make sure there's not going to be anything crazy in my primer zone where I'm working. So I hope everybody's having a good day today. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that thunder is going to fly. I'm rubbing my hand over it. The one trick you can use. Okay, so we're in question of uh, this area, whether it's near flat or not. A gloved hand works good, but what works better is a cloth. your eyes and you know focus solely on that area and if you've got a bad spot in it or not I think that is close enough to pass muster on this one you don't need to get into painting three panels if we or doing body work on three panels if we don't have to yeah I think the judges like that still if I don't brush touch that corner I will prime it and blow a little paint over here and clear this fender which is okay as long as I can save a few minutes on unnecessary body work I'm good with that so from here we're gonna cut it off and uh, we'll call this the end of the preliminary cleanup and figuring out what's going on and the next segment will start part three part one was the last night this will be part two part three will be uh getting those 
those nicks taken care of on the front and back bumper covers. So I will be back.